A little Saturday night WHL hockey inside the Brand Center. The Regina Pats hosting the Kelowna Rockets. Kelowna coming into this one with only three regulation losses this season. So Regina was in tough, but they were ready. They came out early in this one ready to go. Colby Williams catching his man with his head down with a nice hit to get things going. And that fired up the Pats because Colby Williams gets the puck from Chandler Stevenson from behind the net, throws it to Williams with the wrister, top shelf. Pats jump up, one nothing for Colby Williams. That's his first WHL goal. Now seconds after that one, Pats with more pressure on the four check. It's Mark McCoy picking the puck up from behind the net, comes out in front. Puck goes to Adam Brooks who sneaks it underneath. Jordan Cook, the Kelowna goaltender, pats up 2-0, beating, or in the lead, leading one of the top teams in the country in the Kelowna Rockets. They would call a timeout. K-9 was loving it. Everybody inside the Brand Center was loving it. And that got things going for Kelowna because uh, a little Donnybrook broke out. Yeesh, Brady Regan for the Pats, taking some lefts from Jesse Steidel. Yeah, and that, uh, that was not... Good for Brady Regan. Not only did he take a few laps in this fight, he also got an extra two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. So the Kelowna Rockets go out on the power play. And it's Mitchell Wheaton taking the puck from Miles Bell. One-timer and in, beating Dawson McCauley. The Kelowna Rockets claw to within one. Now just three minutes into the second period. Kelowna on the power play again. And the puck... Coming over to Ryan Olsen, he sneaks it under Dawson McCauley, and we have ourselves a 2-2 hockey game. But Regina would take the lead back, jumping out 3-2. It's Colby Williams finding himself deep down low. He gets the puck and puts it in. A power play goal, Colby's second WHL goal, too, in this hockey game. But Kelowna would come back. Zach Franco with a harmless backhander that beats McCauley, somehow gets by the Regina Pat goaltender. So now we've got a 3-3 hockey game. Pats regaining the lead though. Dyson Stevenson passes it to Chandler Stevenson who gets it in. They would review that goal, but they would say, yeah, it counts, a power play goal. Pats up 4-3. Kelowna would come back and tie it up though again. Another harmless shot, somehow beats Dawson McCauley. He had a rough, rough one in this one. 4-4 hockey game. And it would stay 4-4 through 60 minutes, so these two teams would need overtime. And in overtime, Tyson Bally carries it in for Kelowna, drops it for Miles Bell, the former Regina Pat, wrists it home for his 15th of the year, giving Kelowna the 5-4 overtime win. How about that? Miles Bell coming back to Regina to take on his former team and scoring the overtime winner. Absolutely. I think uh, just coming in, you're looking for two points is the main objective, but to finish like that's pretty nice. But, I mean, especially here in Regina, you had a little history here, but you come in this barn and, man, yeah. the boobers were out a little bit, but you showed them. Yeah, no, it was, it was good, uh, good after by everyone involved, so it's, uh, it's crazy for my last game in this building to view it. Yeah. So there you have it, 5-4, your final. The Kelowna Rockets on a goal from Miles Bell beat the Regina Pats in overtime, a heartbreaker. The Pats couldn't hang on to that lead. Had a 2-0 lead, Kelowna came back making it 2-2, Regina takes a 3-2 lead, Kelowna ties it up 3-3, then 4-4, overtime and Miles Bell wins it for the Kelowna Rockets in overtime. The Patties head out for three hockey games but do return home following a Christmas break. December 28th, Pats take on the Brandon Wheat Kings.